here in the UAE, it's in the afternoon time, so good afternoon, and thanks for your time. Today, I'm just, uh, you know, participating on this event to highlight a few things about the system that we've tried as emergency management department that would allow everyone from our perspective to have a good collaboration tool on those items. So I'm going to talk about the Juvari, one of their products, which is the WebOC. So allow me to describe some things about myself. I've started my education in the IT field and suddenly I, I decided to leave it. But the problem that when I did my PhD, I go back to the same route, which is the IT. So from that, I've started my PhD in cloud computing, mainly in two main aspects, which is the the security and the return on investment. Part of it is the things that related in today's, you know, discussion with everyone, which is the security and how we could have a better security in cloud. After that, you know, I've joined different department in Abu Dhabi government, and lately I've joined the crisis, emergency and crisis management department here in Abu Dhabi. So let me talk about the WBOC. So guys, if you have any question, allow me because I've seen that it goes from different items here, just a second. We have it hit the head. So is it clear now? Yeah, I guess it's clear. You are owing two screens, right? Yeah, two screens, yeah. So I'm talking about here the WBOC, which is one of the system that we have tried recently, which really helped us to have a lot of live data from different platforms, different integration between different departments. And uh, you are aware about Alhamdulillah Abu Dhabi get number one city in managing COVID issues. And one of those you know, elements that derive Abu Dhabi to be in that situation is to have such a platform which really improve the response time between different department efficiency because we have so many you know player and uh, kind of provider at a time we do have also a certain compliance that you know it comply with the main requirement of the government here in the UAE and it improve the situational awareness especially when we start working in the covid issues and distributing those elements between different departments we had so many benefits using this kind of a platform, especially in managing the risk issues, different modules that help us really in understanding things between different departments, exchanging data, live data, so everyone here in, the, in our department could easily figure what happened in any kind of those you know, departments that currently we are working with as a other uh, external stakeholders, which really helped us to do a lot of things in a shorter manner. Easy of use, for sure, everyone is looking for a simple things to do more, and it, could, it gave us a lot of flexibility. Let me, if you allow me to just to set it as an, you know, better scalability even, in dealing with those, you know, add-ons and the changes, and everyone is aware about the criticality of the time, and it's really important also to go back again to the security aspect and those elements to assure that we have a better understanding of those items at a time. So we do have also the main standard incorporated that really helped us to work well with those, you know, kind of understanding how things could be divided and given and uh, shared between different departments, especially in understanding the same standard and the same protocol to communicate with each other. And we do have the international protocols in the crisis and management and the commander side, which is the gold, silver, and bronze. And we do have the system that really helped us a lot in managing and distributing different teams in different cells easily, efficiently, and securely. Here we do have also some information that related to the customization that it would, you know, allow people to do. So, for example, you could customize it in a way that it will help you with the day-to-day -day operation. You, you could also manage it in a certain event. 
and it's easy to scale and to be trained by different people at a time. So let me also talk about the task assignment and tracking. You know, everyone, you know, due to COVID issues cannot be on the same location or they need to have at least or to assure a certain social distancing. From that perspective, we try to make sure that we could align the team between different from different entities in the same way of managing their task and working collectively together. And part of it is how to manage a certain incident by having this kind of collaboration tool between different departments. So the system allows us a lot and it's really easy to use. So from that perspective, we try even to share it with different stakeholders externally. And it helped us a lot to manage their also input in a way that it wouldn't cost us that much especially from the financial perspective where we could share with them a certain windows or a certain URLs to have their own way to manage the data and sharing that kind of data. Also shows the, the facility status. For example, we have so many on, uh, let me, if I may state it well, the on-ground teams and facilities, you need to have a proper tracking for it. So that technology or that platform also helped us a lot to manage that requirement and it, will, it fulfilled the whole needs from different stakeholders based on the centralization of that system and how important to share you know, things in a secure way. Part of it also is the incident action plan. For example, we do have several plans to implement at a time. The system or the platform helped us a lot to assign, share, and discuss things in, a, in, in, a, in an electrical way. And it helped us a lot also in managing those tasks or incidents with a proper understanding, understanding of each situation. And it did it well, and it shows a lot of, of better resources. The media part, as everyone knows, it's really important to understand that how important to share or get that information from a proper resources, such as the official or the governmental resources. And from our side, we managed to have a proper channels between different entities with the proper way of managing that communication between the places here and there in, in Abu Dhabi Emirates and in the other side. We do plan also to have our simulator soon. So part of our expanding or the, you know, the future plan is to have our own simulator to make sure that we have a proper understanding and getting a better understanding of the lesson learned from COVID and the usage of that technology at the time. This is any quick about the platform and I'm happy to discuss or to share any other item in that regard, if anyone interesting to ask. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Abdullah. Let me check if any one of the audience have a question. Please drop it in the chat or unmute yourself and ask directly. I will check the website as well because we have two chats. So here we don't have in the Zoom ch chat uh, any question, but then check the website. Just a moment. Now we don't have any question there. Um, um, I have a question. Yeah, please go ahead. Yes, sir. And is the system before the crisis can give you like a certain of alert for changing of uh, some of the and um, some of the actions regarding the crisis? It's coming. Yes. One of the modules that related to the prediction kind of things from the lesson learned or the accumulative data that goes between or, you know, transfer between different departments, it allows us to see a lot of, you know, add-ons based on that input. So, for example, we, we do have that 
kind of intelligence agent that helped us a lot to understand more about the situation and how we could predict things on the ground. It's kind of a machine learning, you know, and we build our, you know, lesson learned from different uh, scenarios that we had, and we try to assure how we could improve the response in a way. And is it centralized alert as like all the government department can receive the same alert or it's just mm -hmm. uh, specific uh, department uh, can receive the alert regarding the new crisis coming? It's easily customized, uh, Mark. You could easily discuss. You could easily, you know, assign it to different scenarios, different entities, and different way of response. So, for example, if you want to have it for a certain incident or action, you could easily customize it. It really, uh, it's a, a very well designed in a way that it will customize or tailor your needs. You could have it centralized, and you could have it per entity, per action, per incident. And it specifies in Abu Dhabi because I'm, uh, I was living in Dubai due, uh, in the beginnings of uh, the Corona crisis. And I'm wondering like, uh, if the crisis management uh, programs in Abu Dhabi can distribute it to other uh, United, uh, you know, other, uh, like another state as Ras Al Khaimah, Abu Dhabi, uh, Dubai, Milky Way can distribute the same alert regarding the crisis? Hey, you know, the, we do have two level of entities. So from our department, we are centralized in Abu Dhabi, and we do have the federal entity, which is the National Crisis Management Authority, which is the ANSIMA one. So both of us, we do use the same system, different kind of uses, but yes, you could have it centralized, but you know, based on your requirement, based on a certain geofence requirement, it was customized and configured. Oh, great, great. Thank you very much. Gotcha. So I have like one question, like um, uh, a naive question, but it, anyone want to get started in this domain, how can they, uh, they, they, they start? Because there is a plan. If I'm new to this domain, I want to get start, started uh, to like fund, uh, to enroll in this domain. Uh, is there a, yeah. a, a piece of advice or a plan to you can give them? Yes. I do teaching also in Rabdan Academy. So one of our program is the business continuity. And uh, it's one of the main components now everyone is talking about and how to assure the access to you know, in the case if there is anything happen, you need to make sure that every other kind of surfaces is there. Nothing, you know, got disconnected or got interrupted. And everyone today is talking about resiliency. So part of starting that area is to have a better understanding of the risk area, which is the risk, uh, the risk management profiling and understanding also more about how to prepare yourself in any situation. Part of it is the business continuity plans. And uh, those both programs are the major program in emergency management in our academy. So everyone could easily go into Rabdan Academy. So he could easily, you know, see more about those programs. I would share with everyone the, in the chat, if you could see it. I'll uh, the URL of the academy, so everyone could easily know more about the academy, and you could navigate through. So this is the the main, you know, advice to start your area and. So you have it in the chat. For everyone, if you are interesting, you could easily visit Rabdan website and you could read more about those kind of topics. And part of it is the technologies that it would, you know, support the decision makers in a way that it would help everyone to know more about how things could be managed in a certain crisis. Inshallah, nothing happened. Inshallah. Uh, much appreciated, Dr. Abdullah. 
Um, before we Perfect. end the session, if anyone has a question, please feel free to unmute yourself or drop the in the chat box. you could reach me from the academy website which point of it was here drop down you would know more about the Rabdan academy and the programs and things that related to this domain yeah got it okay okay it's it's you have dropped it here in chat or you you, you link it at mm. to your profile here in Uva. No. I'll, I'll link it to my profile, but I've Perfect. already added. Oh, yeah. to, I'm encouraging yeah, you to do that. Thank you so much. Add it to the. I've added to the. Uh, you know, I'll add it also my profile, so it would be easily. Yeah. Because uh, the ultimate goal is to connect, and how we can yeah. it's like building bridge between the Arab region as well as the global community in general. And um, for me, as I went in blockchain domain to like attend um, other sessions, different domains, for me, uh, um, creating, creating like um, a new paths to see what's the intersection between the two domains. Thanks so much, uh, Dr. Uh, Abdullah, for this amazing session. And uh, looking forward to meeting you to the uh, in the next uh, Arab Blockchain Week and Arab Impact uh, and Startup Conference uh, 2020, inshallah. Uh, and um, it was a pleasure and honor for us to have you in this session. Thank you so much. You know, part of our future plans also is to have the Center of Excellence based on the blockchain technology. Wow. I don't want to talk more. I don't want to talk more about it because it, it, it built a lot of integration between different you know stakeholders here. So let, let it take you know a, a better uh, way of you know getting the needs. So we could at least present it inshallah next year. Inshallah, I'm, I would love to like attend and if needed, if, if I can like do anything in this this part, I would. It's a pleasure for me. Thank you so much, Dr. Abdullah.